Christine, you talk about that list, and here it is, Victoria Soto. Her name is on here, and her family says one of the hardest things about yesterday was waiting to hear if Soto and her students were dead or alive. Over 533,000 people in Connecticut were without power Tuesday night. Well, I've really been in between this umbrella, no umbrella, hat, no hat, hood. What do we do out here? Well, it's still raining, but it's not quite coming down as hard as it was before. This is almost tolerable, I'll tell you. Now, usually in these storm situations, we have a concern about the heavy winds. We have a concern about power outages, but you can see, check it out. We're fully lit here in downtown Milford. Not really a concern here at this point. I know we're keeping an eye on those wind gusts. And as for the water, we do have some flowing water. Take a look up here. We've got this pipe. I don't know if you can see it just barely where the water is pouring out of. So there is a lot of accumulation here. The water is moving, coming all the way down. And then check it out down here, almost a little mini waterfall. And so this water is flowing through downtown. The system appears to be working because if you look this way, stepping around that pole, you've got your drain here. I want to show you guys, first of all, this note here. News 12 Connecticut stayed overnight here in Boston. And this was slipped underneath the door in the hotel rooms. It's a note from management talking about heightened security, also giving an important phone number for loved ones that might be staying at the hotel and might need information about the whereabouts of their loved ones still at this point. It also expresses the management's deepest sympathy to those involved. And injuries. We know for a fact that there are injuries and we're just waiting to hear the news on exactly how bad we're talking at this point. What are you thinking is going to happen with the economy going forward because of this? In our News 12 Connecticut follow-up, Fairfield Police spoke on Tuesday asking for the public's help in identifying two men responsible for, they say, flashing people in public. Ian Tom, she was out here earlier today with other family members, and I want you to take a look down this way at the memorial. You can see at this point they've swept away the shattered glass and straightened it up. They described this cleanup process today as very frustrating. A lot of businesses shutting down today, not staying open until the last minutes possible. A lot of them being just closed for the day, saying I'm going to pack up business today and not deal with this weather.